blessed be the name of the lord i want to speak something about uh, the doctrines and uh, the preaching of uh, mr simon shiveka kenya who traveling south america and Amer united states of america and uh, he brought out a biggest heresies that he is saying that uh, the prophet william branham about about him he don't openly speaks but he already spoke sub, uh, many things but uh, i have i have received one of the youtubes of uh, simon shiveka that uh, he says that after john the baptist listen carefully after john the baptist there is no more prophets for the gentiles only john the baptist is the last prophet in the old testament until malachi 4 5 after that he is saying matthew mark luke and john that the son the son of god the god using the son no prophet he speaks like that then he says that uh, after that, even today, even now, God only deal with the apostles because after Jesus, then apostles came and he dealt with the apostles, no more prophets. That kind of heresies this man is speaking that you can directly hear from him as I am uh, attaching his uh, video in my channel sorry in my youtube so you can hear him then i will quote the brother branham's quotation as we are believing brother branham is our prophet we still stand for that let me tell you something we never bear these kinds of heresies my friends people may think that why these kinds of uh, expositions are coming it is necessary and it is very needful in this time because people must understand these are the demonic anointing upon these people. Demonic anointing. After uh, uh, sitting under the message of William Branham for 33 years, this man, Simon Shiveka from Kenya, and uh, he is, uh, uh, he became a heretic. Deadly heretic, not the common and, uh, and you know, the player, the, the, the only heretic, but deadly heretic, that is heresies are, uh, you know, uh, heresies are coming through his YouTubes, and uh, we have one of the YouTubes that we made it in that manner that what he speaks about that you can hear from his from, from him directly. So what I want to tell you, we have we want to deal these kinds of heretics because our purpose to deliver the people from these kinds of the heretics because what what Sir Simon Shiveka is saying is totally unscriptural totally unscriptural because he says there is no prophet after John the Baptist John the Baptist is the last prophet and he quote the quotation that Lord Jesus said that the kingdom of God is unpreached until the John the Baptist he is the last prophet after that, no prophet. After that, that God sent his son. And between Jesus and John the Baptist, he's saying like that. Oh yes, sir. And uh, uh, the violence is going on for the kingdom of God. And violence will take it by force. Yes. And after that, he said directly, uh, brought that he, he, he said that, he says, Matthew, Mark, Luke and St. John, God dealt with the son, his son, Jesus Christ. Yes. You see what? Uh, uh, then, uh, the, then after that came the apostles. Then no more prophets for the Gentiles and God no, never deal with the prophets. Yes. So that uh, that is his heresy. So I want to, scripturally I prove that this man is a liar devil anointed because exactly he is a devil anointed otherwise he cannot say like that he is the anointed of the devil yes no doubt at all 
whether you believe it or not believe it, but I want to tell you straightforwardly that he is anointed of the devil and uh, biggest heretics. And uh, I, I would like to uh, read some of the things for your information. See, I want to read from the Bible itself to prove that this man is a liar and uh, unscriptural statement. You see, 1 Corinthians 14.32 And the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. That is in the New Testament. Spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So here, prophets are there. He cannot say there is no more prophets. Alright. Now, Matthew, I would like to, only just I want to read that. Matthew chapter 22, 38, 30 and 40. Now, this is the first and great commandment. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang the law and the prophets. This is the first and the prophets. Yes. See, that is what Lord says. Law and the prophets. Yes. Now, now this is very important scripture. Amos, book of Amos 3, 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing but, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. The lion hath roared, who will not fear? The Lord God hath spoken, who can but prophecy? Yes. So Lord God will never do his program, whole Bible. God, if ever God wants to speak, he used the prophets. Not only in the Old Testament, even in the New Testament. Even today, even uh, here, here, hereafter, even in the future, God used his prophet to reveal the secret. That is a channel. This man is absolutely a devil. And demonic power is anointed him. All right. Now, Ephesians 2.20 And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Now, therefore, you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. Prophets. Yes. Now, Ephesians 4.11 All these scriptures I want to prove that. Scripturally this man is out. I no need to bring William Branham's course uh, even uh, because he never talked about William Branham in this YouTube but I want, he is uh, quoting the scripture. Yes. Visibly you can see that I will I, you, after my, after, uh, after my uh, little uh, you know, that teaching is over, you can hear it. Now, Ephesians 4.11 And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. So, prophets are there. Ephesians 4.11, prophets are there. Now, another thing, Psalms. Now they hear Psalms 105, 15. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. All right. And 1 Corinthians 12, 28. And God has said, see listen carefully. And God has said some in the church, first apostles, secondly prophets, thirdly teachers, after, the, after that miracles, then gifts of healings, Helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Are all workers of miracles? Question. All right. These are the these are the scriptures. Totally, these are the and many are there. These are the main scriptures that I'm quoting to disprove the heresies of Simon Shiveka of Kenya. Oh yes, sir. Total, total. This is disgraceful, I tell you. All right. Now, Brother Branham, we want to, you, I want to quote even William Branham's uh, quotations. Brother, there was dozens of prophets after Daniel. And there was John the Baptist. There was Jesus Christ. There was the prophets through the New Testament. There was visions. There was angels. 
six, the sixfold purpose of Gabriel 1961. Unquote. Brother Branham says, there was a prophet, there is a prophet, there will be a prophet. He cannot say there is no prophet. He is saying that until the John, huh? Adam to John, then came Jesus Christ. Then he says that Jesus Christ in Matthew, Mark, Luke and St. John, that was Jesus Christ. Directly. Well, yes, he says, after John, no prophets. Listen. Now, another quotation I want to read from William Branham. And remember, the entire Bible was wrote by the prophets. Why? The word of God came to them after they was vindicated. Prophets like Jashir and some of them that was thrown out. And many prophets that never went on. But God has a way of stirring his word. The, when it's truth, God has got to judge the world by something. 1964, the voice of the sign. All right. All right, then, secondly, he has preachers who comes down and preaches the word, who understands it and tells the people then. Uh, next, he puts prophets in the church. Prophets are seers that foresee things and tell things that comes to pass. And it's all by God's spirit. Prophets. Yes. See, how, how this, uh, the Brother Branham speaks about that. So, blind Barthimus 55. Now, another quotation. The reason that God sends prophet is because they have the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord comes to the prophets. And if it doesn't have the word of the Lord, then he, has not, he is not a prophet. Oh yes, unquote. It has to come to the prophet, the word of God, even today, even tonight, even tomorrow, even in many years afterwards, the word of God has to come to the prophet. That is what Brother Branham says. There is a lot of carnal impersonations trying to say they are prophets all down through the ages, but they always get away from the word of the Lord. But the true prophet stays exactly on the word. Uh, now, don't forget that quotation, a true prophet stays with thus saith the Lord. 1961, the true sign that is overlooked. Now, another quotation, prophets, the word of God comes to the prophet. The Bible said so. Now, in closing, I just got a couple more comments here or so. I want to pass and then I am going to cut off. The word of the Lord comes to the prophets. What come to the prophets? The word of the word of the church came to the prophets? Question mark. No. The word of the creed came to the prophet? No. The word of the Lord. What was it? The prophet revealed the word of God. See, that is the prophets, real prophets. Now we got false prophets. We are getting to them uh, in a, just a minute. All right. You must be born again in 1961. Oh, yes. Now another quotation. It is all quotations. We want to defeat this devil. Now watch. He was the word. See, now Jesus, he just said this because he was the word. But to us, we have to approach God through the word. See, the word comes to the prophets. They are not the word in the Old Testament. Now Elijah and Moses and all these great prophets, they wasn't the word. They were the, they were perverted, uh, so, sorry, they were the, all right. They wasn't the word, but Jesus was the word. Amen, amen. Oh, just I love that. 62, the signs of the coming, 1962. All right. All these quotations, I just proving to you that uh, William Branham's quotations and uh, even the scriptures and proving that there is a prophet. This man is a liar. He denied the prophets. He denied the God's body, Lord's body. He denied the Lord's body. Even he denied that because if you remove the prophets from the uh, one of the limbs of his body, you are you are uh, you are making him handicapped. You are making God is a handicap. God, our God is not a handicap. He has all the limbs in his body and that body is truly working and we are waiting for the token outpouring of the Holy Spirit. There will be many prophets will arise and I tell you, you are the real demonic anointed man and I am going to uh, play 
this man's video and you can hear him what he spoke and what kind of heresies he brought out then after that he will going to hear our prophet William Branham God bless you it this is a warning to any person claiming to be an Old Testament prophet he has he must not leave this scripture out unless he's coming to prophesy something that was not captured by the prophets and he should tell us why that thing is prophesying was left out because Jesus said all the prophets prophesied until John and from that time the gospel that is preached is the gospel of the kingdom because he said and the kingdom is preached John prophesied and from that time now it is the kingdom being preached and the violent men take what by force take the kingdom by force. All the prophets prophesy until John. So the question we want to ask ourselves is, what did they prophesy? Don't you think that's important? What did they prophesy? What was the theme of all the prophets? When the Bible is saying all the prophets prophesied until John, God is looking at the time of the prophets. Are we together? Amen. We want to find another scripture that also talks about all prophets. And if what they prophesied came to be fulfilled. I love it. So that when another person comes out, you can authoritatively stand and say, what are you prophesying about? What does the word prophesy mean? To foretell by an inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Are you going to look for it to come and sit here? You look nice, man. You guys, can you clap? For you know, today, it is his seventh anniversary. Is it seventh? It is his seventh anniversary today. And we are ordaining him in the ministry today. Amen. So these people prophesied. And if God will give me grace, I want to bring him so close to you. That you understand why number 12 was common in the entire Bible. Up to the 12th manner of fruit on the tree of life. And in the days of Adam, the tree never had a 12th manner of fruit. What has changed on that tree? Something must have happened on that tree. And it's only capturing the number of the children of Israel. Praise the Lord. Yes. All the prophets were until John. So the question is, why? What did they prophesy? Because Jesus said they stopped at John. So we had better find out what they prophesied. Before we say, John, your ministry has come to an end. When another prophet comes out, he can only come out under another program. Or... The people to whom the prophets came to must have missed out something very important that God had to suspend to send another prophet. And why? Yes. So if John was the last prophet of the promise, there would have never been any other prophet between Jesus and John. Those are the things you are dealing with. That he says, John after John, it is finished. From that time, it is now the kingdom. After John, it is not the kingdom. Can we go again in uh, Luke? Don't forget we are dealing with the word all. We are dealing with the word all. So, if it was all, 
we are dealing with <laughs> we are dealing with from Adam to Malachi which is God and his prophets and then we are dealing with Mark no Matthew Mark Luke and John which is not God and his prophets it is God and his son from Adam to Malachi God and his prophets Matthew Mark Luke and John God for the King David to be given a son so that we can be blessed so we were there with our kings with our kingdom but there's only one nation that God promised to give a king and then he did die he did that by sending the prophets to prepare the people for the coming king and I will show you in the scriptures after John came and a prophet who comes does not come to prophesy about the coming thank you he doesn't come to prophesy about it because he already came if prophets are going to come there is a new order and that order is there is no prophet but apostles because when Jesus came he did not commit the word to the prophets he committed it to apostles is that true? Our prophecy in the church. That could be on one, then the next one, the next one, the next one, and so forth. A prophecy. Paul said you may all prophesy one by one. But there's a lot of difference between a prophet and a prophecy. Prophecy has to be judged by three witnesses, two or three, before it can be given or accepted in the church according to the scriptures. But a prophet, like the Old Testament prophets, they had the word of the law. The translation was right to them. And they were known because... The Bible said, If there be one among you spiritual or a prophet, I, the Lord, will make myself known to him, speak to him in visions, and reveal myself in dreams. And if what this man says comes to pass, then hear him, for I'm with him. If it doesn't, then don't hear him. I'm not with him. Don't fear him. Now, to the word, it is not you that really tries the apostle and prophet and teacher. It is the word that tries them. One of these days there is going to come a prophet to the Laodicean church age, and you will know if he is the real one sent from God or not. Yes, you will. For if he is of God, he will be in that word exactly as God gave it to Paul. He won't deviate from that word for a moment, not by one iota. In that last age, when there will be many false prophets appearing, watch and see how they keep telling you that if you don't believe them and what they say, you will be lost. But when that last day prophet comes on the scene, if he is truly that prophet, he will be crying out, Get back to the word, or you are lost. He won't build on a private revelation or interpretation, but on the word. Amen and amen. These false apostles are the grievous wolves that Paul spoke of. He said, Once I am gone, they will try to come and claim equal revelation. But their purpose is not to help you, but destroy you. Acts 20, 27 through 32. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers to feed the church of God, which he hath purchased with his own blood. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking just the same thing he said when I baptized right down here on the Ohio River many of you standing there 23 years ago right on the Ohio River that light angel come right down where it was at and said as John the Baptist was sent for a forerunner of the first coming of Jesus Christ your message will bring the second coming of Jesus Christ Amen. and it's done it's, well, he hasn't come yet but look what it's done it's swept the world around Amen. See? and today now just think of the, the effort that's went forth. There's been little... And the New Testament friends would have to go back to the first of the New Testament. John the Baptist was between the law and the truth. He was the prophet, the forerunner of Jesus Christ. He was uh, the bridge between the law dispensation and the grace dispensation. He was the greatest among the prophets because Jesus said he was. 
And he never got no uh, big but recently he was a Jewish, he was given a privilege to intercede the ones of the other prophets that spoke out of sin. That's what made him a Jew. He intercedes to the world the son of the living God. And the way that he intercedes him is by a sign. Did you ever think of that? That's what I didn't know. But he and the world has told me to go back. I said, if I knew I could see the spirit descending in your name, he's the one that is out of the Holy Ghost and God. John knew it, I see. No one else seemed to see it. But John saw the Holy Ghost like a bird coming down upon him. A bird saying, This is my beloved son, and he might. John, listen! Always before the end time, when Satan turns loose his impersonators, God sends his prophets. Amen. Amen. And we are told in the Bible that in the last days, your young men shall see visions that have all my handmaids and maidservants. Prophets will appear again on the earth. Vision seers will appear on the earth. At the end time, we're there. We're at the junction. It's been prophesied by all the holy prophets. Down through the age and foretold by God's sacred word. The end time. How the Lord would do. How his blessings would be. And what the devil would do in those days. What would take place. The end time. God's holiness. We're at the end time. We're going into the millennium. Every hand pointing that way. The old clock's ticking away about two minutes till midnight. Omnipotence is speaking. Angels are appearing. Prophets are coming. Prophets are prophesying. Visions are being poured out upon your people. The gospel's being preached. The sick being raised up. The blind see. The deaf hear. The devils are raging. Impersonators and devils and devils are here. But omnipotence. Speak, hallelujah. Oh, we're in the last days. We're at the junction. Man's heart are failing for fear. Perplexed at times, distressed between the nations. The earth getting so nervous that it's bursting forth earthquakes everywhere. Amen. Jesus said it would be that way.